let's talk about what's happening, the changes. Yeah, based on the weather today, I mean, that's Friday enough, right? Unfortunately, it's about to get chilly, and it's going to stay that way as we head into the weekend. 67 today in the Triangle, 71 in Fayetteville. Not going to be that warm this weekend. Highs will be in the low 50s each day. That's a little different than last weekend. Remember, 77 last Sunday? A little bit cooler this time around. And today, not only was it warm, but it was windy. Look at some of our wind gusts from across town. More than 30 mile per hour wind gusts in Fayetteville, down in Goldsboro, here in the Triangle, Rocky Mount, 31 mile per hour wind gust. But now that the winds are calming down, Plus, we've got clear skies overnight, long winter nights. It's going to get cold as we wait on that dry cold front to move through. That'll help drop us all the way down to 32 by tomorrow morning. And today we started cold. I mean, it's 34 this morning, but we warmed it to the 60s. We're not going to do that kind of warming tomorrow. 37 by 9 a.m., 46 by lunchtime on our way to highs in the low 50s. Even though we'll have plenty of sunshine, it is going to be a chilly day. And speaking of sunshine, tonight's super sunset is a super sunrise. And this is from last month over at the NC State Dairy Unit. Karen was there early capturing the sunrise. Great artistic shot of the sun coming up. And this makes me hungry for some howling cow ice cream. Have you ever had it from the NC State Dairy Unit? It's worth a try. Even if it's going to be chilly this weekend, ice cream is good in all types of weather. I'll put this on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page if you want to take a second look right after the newscast. All right, so there's the cold front. It has started to push through. It'll take a while for the cold air to trickle in, but I promise you will feel it tomorrow morning, and you will feel it for the next several days. High pressure and really the cold front all coming from Canada, and it's cold up there this time of year, so that's why we're going to have a freezing start tomorrow. We'll have a chilly day just without the wind. Plenty of sunshine this weekend as the high pressure sticks around, but we're just not going to warm up that much. Temperatures will be below average. We start to turn that around next week. High pressure will shift east. Our winds come more out of the south, so we'll have a slow warm up throughout the week. It's not going to be 80 on Monday or anything, but we'll start the warm up on Monday, and it will eventually crescendo with 70s later next week. No 70s tomorrow, though. Your Friday forecast will keep us sunny with a high of 54 in Dunn, a degree warmer than that in Fayetteville. You guys in Wilson, about 52 tomorrow, significantly by about 15 degrees cooler than where we were today. And that'll include a high of 50 in Roanoke Rapids. Here in the Triangle, it'll be 51 in Durham and Chapel Hill, 52 in Cary, and 52 for a high here in the capital. So that's daytime. Nighttime, don't forget, we've got March high school football. It's still strange for me to say here coming out of my mouth, but it's going to be chilly tomorrow night for high school football. 45 at kickoff. Most of the games are kicking off about 6.30. Low 40s by the time those high school football games wrap up tomorrow night. So dress warmly. All right, so lots of sunshine. Next few days, just not lots of heat. Highs will stay in the low 50s. And look at our morning temperatures, 32, 31, 29, 28. And it's not until we get into the middle of next week that those temperatures start to warm up. 60s are back Tuesday and Wednesday. But remember that streak I talked about? Right now it's at three dry days in a row. By the time it's all said and done, we're going to have 12 of them. I don't have rain back in the forecast until your 10-day forecast gets into next weekend. And next weekend, by the way, is also the weekend we spring forward, turning those clocks ahead one hour.